was so sexy and a lot of danger and explosions. What's the style? What's the feeling you wanted an audience to have? Well, that's what it was to me. I read it. It was fresh. It was new. It's contemporary culture, but dangerous culture because it's the drug war, Mexico, U.S. It seemed like, above all, it was a ride, you know, it were unpredictable. You did not know what would happen next, and that was the kind of movie I wanted to make. Sun splashed, big duel in the sun, if you can remember that far back. Uh, a little bit of Sergio Leone, uh, also a bit of uh, uh, Contempt by uh, Godard, which is a, a French film, and uh, a little bit of Wild, uh, wild, wild Bunch, you know, pe pecking points. It got, although it's set in the contemporary West, it feels like a, a bit like a Western at the time. Mm -hmm. Well, with all these references in, with your storied career and big career, this seems like a very, with all due respect, young, fresh vision. Did the vision come out of the material, or did it come from your desire to do something new, constantly challenge yourself? I try to. I try to change myself. I try to evolve. I try to. It's hard, you know, when you you, you do tend to lock into patterns. You get you get hold on to habits. We all do, but uh, this material was very fresh by Don Winslow. The book was hit me uh, right. It was not a no. It was a no no brainer for me. I guess, um, uh, and uh, the way we refresh ourselves is by trying things that we don't think we can pull off. Sometimes I mean I'm not sure I could have pulled it off. I was concerned. I brought in specialists in every category in cannabis in. DEA, a drug enforcement agency, and uh, computer hacking. I was trying to figure out, you know, how to make this as believable as possible. And it's hard, you know, to, to pull off this kind of story. And there's a relevance to it all, but it's not pedantic. It balances this sheer entertainment with It was hard, yeah, an obstacle course, because how do you make it interesting? You know, so much of, uh, we have so many films, so much behavior, you know, how do you keep it fresh? I think it helps to have great actors, too. I was going to say, you have an amazing multi-generational cast. Uh, what was it like to watch them work together and learn and grow from each other? It was difficult. I can't say it was simple. Uh, there was a lot of uh, scheduling issues. and I had, you know, s potent talent. Sometimes I didn't want to keep people waiting. I kept working. We worked fast. But it was always location shooting, so it was very difficult with the heat and the canyons and all the... The houses we had to get in and out of fast. I can't say it's easy. Anything is easy. Sometimes as when you shoot on a set, it's better. You know, it would have been great to have the money to have built sets, but I'm very happy with locations. It gives you a sense of Laguna, a sense of Southern California, uh, where the, the story is really about beach and sea and hell. <laughs> and you have a lot of explosions. Do you enjoy Explosions, them? too, uh, so you can see them better in the daylight. At the end, they're wrapping me up. I uh, just want to find out. At the end, who do we find out? Who are the savages? Who are savages? Aren't we all to some degree? I mean, the question is of degree. To what degree do you cross the, the boundaries of what's right and what's wrong? Perfect.